It's moving day for Justine Lloyd in inner city Sydney. She's leaving her apartment, but unlike other renters, she's taking something unusual with her. I don't have to pack up my solar panels and take them with me every time I move. That's because Justine bought into a cooperative for solar energy, 500 kilometres away, here in Grong Grong in the New South Wales Riverina. She's a co-owner in this new solar garden. So what happens is people buy a plot of solar panels here, the energy is produced here, fed into the grid, and then they get a credit on their bill. In Justine's case, even if she moves house. A Haystack Solar Farm sold off plots for $4,200. The co-op says the solar gardeners will get $455 a year off their power bills for the next decade and predicts that returns will be higher. We have a, a bit of uh, the haves and have-nots. People with rooftop solar are protected from the energy market ups and downs, whereas renters, apartment dwellers that can't get rooftop solar can take advantage of these sorts of models. Farmer Gemma Purcell is hosting the solar garden on her land. She says compared to some other large renewable projects across Australia, support from locals has been good. The impact has been quite quite low. People are happy to see some medium scale infrastructure, you know. While some experts are impressed with the enthusiasm driving the project, they say there are better ways to go about making the system fairer for renters. So I think it's important to be clear that um, initiatives like these solar gardens are not as financially rewarding as rooftop solar and that they're never going to be. The best thing we can do is to accelerate the transition of the whole national electricity grid to be more renewables and therefore cleaner and cheaper. But Justine can't put a price on freedom. You just never know where you're going to be living next year. Joe Lauder, ABC News, Grong Grong.